Hi everybody and welcome to the seventh update from the Bird's Eye Learning Series with me, James Hopwood, UK Agriculture Manager here at Bird's Eye. And I'm stood in the corner of a fantastic looking field of peas today uh, that are growing really quickly now on this beautiful uh, mid-May day. It's really warm, it's 23, 4 degrees here. Uh, but these crops are taking uh, all of the energy from the sun, photosynthesizing and growing upwards really quickly now uh, using that moisture that we've conserved underneath. And as you can see, the tendrils now are starting to uh, branch out as the crop starts to hold on to each other uh, for support. And in the next few days or next few weeks, we'll start to see uh, some little flowers appearing on these peas. And that's a sure sign that we're in for some sweet peas in the very near future. So watch out for that. But another important subject for us here at Bird's Eye is that of biodiversity. Now, biodiversity is the technical term for really all of life on Earth. And it's a scientific measure of the variety of species, of habitats and ecosystems across the planet. And agriculture has a particular part to play in biodiversity as we look at our dependency on food, water and a sustainable climate. So we are really engaged here at Bird's Eye to work closely with our farmers to create really beneficial ecosystems uh, locally uh, to our production areas uh, and working with our farmers. Whether that be nurturing great big hedgerows like this one behind me uh, which have really wide grassy banks which are harboring beneficial insects which we'll talk about in just a moment or beautiful looking phacelia uh, behind me and wide margins where these crops have been grown this isn't a food crop this is a biodiversity crop so there's all sorts of different plants in here which over the summer will become really important habitats for insects or it might be planting areas that are unprofitable to grow agriculture with trees. And that's an area of trees, an acre big, that the farmer planted back in 2000 here, uh, looking to uh, put a break into the farm uh, as he, as he uh, looks to, to drive his own biodiversity. As we walk into this beautiful area of Phacelia here now, you start to see and hear fantastic noise from all of the bees. And this crop, as I look at it, is almost moving with activity. You can see all the bees there. Lovely big bumblebee and there's a honeybee there. Some honeybees down there. And there, and a great big bumblebee. Going about their work, doing a fantastic job pollinating so this is acting as a tremendous habitat for all of these insects and why are insects important to us as part of this bigger biodiversity picture and that's because in agriculture uh, we're looking for integrated crop management so we're looking to work with nature to help us grow our crops and we're also looking at integrated pest management so we look at thresholds uh, so we look at the amount of pests required to treat a crop for any particular problem but we're also looking to harness the power of nature to look after our beneficial insects, which will go into a crop uh, and eat and prey on other insects, such as aphids. So when you're out in your gardens looking at your roses or, or the pea plants, pay special attention to aphids on the leaves. But it's really important that we work with these beneficial insects, such as uh, hoverflies, little uh, black and white beetle and, and you can google all of these and, and have a look what they look like uh, and try and find them in your gardens ladybirds are really important to us uh, they'll prey on the on the larvae of, of aphids uh, uh, we're also looking for butterflies and moss and butterflies and moss are really important in the food chain as birds will eat lots of butterflies and moths and, and butterflies are fantastic at pollinating our plants as well there's also lace wings, which are a, a beautifully fine green beetle uh, with a beautiful lacy long wing. And they are fantastic uh, predators of aphids and insect eggs. So have a look out for those. And finally, black ground beetles. Uh, and they're great at uh, helping you in the garden with uh, pests such as slugs and snails. So have a Google of those, follow the links and go and see if you can find those in your garden. But for now, I'll leave you 
with all this beautiful nature and if you can get a chance now uh, to get out and see some of the countryside then please do and enjoy your gardens and enjoy your pot plants and keep watering those peas. See you soon!